what's he doing? Let's just watch. What are you looking for, young man? What are you looking for? A ball? I know what you're up to. Where's your ball then? Go and find it. Come on then, show me. Where is it? Where is it? What? Where's your ball? He doesn't know, does he? He's running me around in circles. What are you looking for? You silly pooch. I thought he'd found a tennis ball or something. Anyway, folks, welcome along to the vlog. Uh, I don't think I finished the video correctly yesterday because I left the camera here this morning. Last night, so it was here this morning. Hello. Anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, today's job, really, is I have to finalise some label designs for bottling the vacant because we want to do bottles for gift packs and mini kegs for the pub this Christmas and quite frankly I'm running out of time to do it so in order to make that happen I'm going to go upstairs into the office today and I'm really going to concentrate on getting the labels finished and actually sent to the printers so we can get on with it I've got all this beer in tanks and even though we do want to cask quite a bit of it I think we also want to bottle and mini keg some of it too and uh, well needs must I suppose I don't like sitting on the computer all afternoon and all morning to get these jobs done but I'm afraid we're gonna have to do it um, and also uh, somebody sent me a link just di digressing completely 100% Somebody sent me a link to an ESP32, if you've ever seen one of these, and uh, this is acting as a repeater for uh, the weaker signalled um, tilts in the fermenters, so we can get all of the fermenters displaying up there. So I've ordered one of those for each box, for each tank. It's going to live in here with its own little power adapter and hopefully that will allow us to pick up all the tilts from the stainless steel tanks because they are struggling a little bit and these ESP32s are only about eight bucks a piece. Ain't that right, Chancy boy? Yeah, that's the coolest. So, I'm going to go up there in that orifice and uh, yeah, we'll spend some time doing label designing on either Inkscape or GIMP. Either way, I'll show you some of the finished results when we're done. Into it. We've got some visitors, haven't we, Chansey? Yes, ladies and gents, we've been paid a visit by none other than Mark from Hoverdog. Here he is, in the flesh. So we're going to go and have a few drinks with his... Uh, good lady wife this evening they're up there and uh, we're also going to watch the rugby tomorrow morning come on England uh, I've been busy for a while as you may know and uh, it's left me in a position where I don't exactly know where I kind of left off on the last vlog until I get home and get everything off the SD card which is in the camera now so Apart from the last vlog that you've just seen, this is going to be an addendum to that if you like, to try and catch you up so that tomorrow, now I've got all these uh, jobs out the way, we can pick up vlogging again normally. You might be thinking, Harry, what are you on about? Because I don't know. Well, I've been designing bottle labels. That's right. And the bottle labels, of course, uh, I'm designing them on... Inkscape, if it's a program that you're familiar with. I wasn't. It's been a steep learning curve. But fortunately, uh, through about three days, I've managed to put together some labels that I'm actually really happy with. So, we've designed, redesigned the, uh, what do you want to call it, the brand a little bit again. But I'm actually 
very, very happy with how these have come out. So I'm just going to show you them now and then we're going to stick them on some bottle labels. Then we'll wrap up today's vlog and any odds and ends that I filmed over the weekend I will stick at the end of this vlog. But tomorrow normal service will be resumed. So I hope you've not missed out too much. I don't think you have. Uh, but we are playing a little bit of catch up. It literally took me days and days to do this and I just can't warrant filming the screen of me learning how to use a program. But anyway, let's get into this. Here we go, what do you think to that folks? That is the Vacant Gesture bottle label with all the info down the side. I've had to buy, uh, what do you call them, barcodes and everything else. I think that looks pretty smart -o. And then on top of the Vacant Gesture, I've also designed the stout label, I think that's nice and clean and crisp. Just a little error on the bleed here, but I wasn't going to print it out again. I've already adjusted that though on the computer. And then finally, the proof of concept. Now the reason we're doing the vacant, the stout and the proof of concept is because at Harrison's Brewery or at the brew shed, should I say, if you want, you can come down and buy some mini kegs. You never know, I might even be able to ship them out. We'll see. But yeah, here we go, the third one. Proof of concept. Now that's a busy one, isn't it? And it's meant to be, by the way. So there we go, three brand new labels. I'm gonna get these off to the printers. Uh, if you wanna proofread them for me, you can, but chances are by the time you see this video, these will be gone. So there we are, folks. That is basically what I've been doing for the past kind of three days and then the week leading up to that as well I've been really busy uh, with other things outside of the vlog actually but nothing bad it's all good so one more point that I'd like to touch on before I go we are of course harvesting yeast and I reused the yeast and indeed they've gone into these tanks here and it has worked a darn treat. Look at the finishing gravities up there on the tilts. So we've got the blue tilt, the vacant, it says 1004. It's actually a little bit higher than that. Uh, proof of concept. There we go, the green one is the stout 1011. It's all working pretty well and uh, we've got a best bitter there as well at 1007. So those batches of beer were made with the harvested yeast that we took uh, out of the other tanks but I wasn't 100% sure obviously about the viability and all that kind of stuff so I've gone into I've spent my own money actually because we didn't have enough cash in the brewery account uh, thanks to buying all those tilts so I actually went into my own account and I've bought a uh, microscope so we can do some yeast counting and that kind of stuff to make sure that we have healthy and viable yeast going into the next batches that will be for another video of course don't forget if you want to see all that kind of stuff you have to subscribe and you have to hit that notification icon because YouTube is changing its algorithms so if you don't do all these things like hit the like button then it'll just get lost in the ether folks anyway I'm gonna sign out Here's a few bits and bobs that I did over the weekend and we will definitely be seeing you tomorrow where normal service will resume. Cheers, I'll see you then.